And what I've found is that our little devices, those little devices in our pockets, are so psychologically powerful that they don't only change what we do, they change who we are. sound of marching feet away or high. Pepper. By the way, just spitballing some brain crack here, but an iPad app that pours cold Dr. Pepper out of your iPad into a glass. Right, but anyway, I'm really interested in why for-profit companies feel kind of evil and icky to us, particularly because I am co-owner of one such company. Which brings me to Kiva.org, a website that allows you or me or anyone to be a banker for entrepreneurs in the developing world. You pick the entrepreneurs you want to work with from around the world and then you loan them money and there is a 98.5% chance that they pay you back. Whereupon you can re-loan that money forever or take it out at some point if you want. And admittedly, you don't make any interest on this deal, but as you may have noticed, you also don't make any interest in regular banking these days. We slip into thinking that always being connected is going to make us feel less alone. But we're at risk because actually it's the opposite that's true. If we're not able to be alone, we're going to be more lonely. used to getting by with less, that they become almost willing to dispense with people altogether. I ask people to anonymously share an artful secret they've never told anyone before. And I handed out these postcards randomly on the streets of Washington, D.C., not knowing what to expect. And this is my postcard collection today. Let's talk about how we can use digital technology, the technology of our dreams, to make this life the life we can love. Thank you. French the llama!